I've never really enjoyed carnival food. I can do without the cotton candy, the corn dogs, and anything else that shouldn't be near the average individual's diet. But seeing how I've gone to the exhibition every year for the last four years, I thought why not finally try my taste buds at something different. So this is a video of doing just that. First up, cocoa fried chicken from Coco's, which is essentially fried chicken prepped and marinated with cocoa and then dusted with chocolate. It was good, but for 13 bucks and a subtle chocolatey aftertaste, you're better off buying the regular fried chicken. The chocolate ketchup and seasoned string fries, however, were a nice addition to the meal. Overall, nothing really special here besides marketing genius. This is a Thanksgiving waffle from France. It's got turkey, gravy, stuffing, green onions, and cranberries. It tastes like Thanksgiving, it's just as advertised. It just works together so perfectly. It's actually really good. Yeah? I'm impressed. Franz replaced the waffle batter with stuffing, which is inventive, but I would have preferred mine mashed potato heavy. I can look past that, however. This was actually a very good meal. The deep fried Twinkies at this food stand was an interesting surprise. I've always held Twinkies with such a low regard, so taste testing this was going to be a struggle. To my disbelief, they weren't half bad. I mean, they piled on the batter, but they were still pretty good. Finally, we headed back to France to try their brownie cheesecake milkshake. It's made with milk, vanilla ice cream, cake, and chocolate sauce. It certainly catches your attention at first. God damn, it's a pretty good milkshake. But I give it a maximum of 10 sips before you get tired of it. The shake is way too rich for one person and should be shared with at least two parties. While I might be new to the whole carnival food scene, it was fun trying it out for the day. However, whether or not I resort back to it next year is something I've yet to decide.